Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Ah, no, no, get off me! All right. You will notice that I am being chased by one of my most hated dinosaurs, and that is a raptor. And I'm doing this, I'm starting this off just so you know exactly why I do a few things. And I figured I'd start off this episode just so where you guys know why 112 movement speed is the movement speed to have on the island. That's because you can outrun a raptor until you run out of stamina. Alright, so these guys right here, the biggest pain in the butt, and he ended up deaggering on me and running off. But these guys right here. Where are you? I know I see your tail. Oh no, 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 you don't. Alright, we want to make sure that we have bolas handy for these guys. Because oh, okay, that guy's dead. He picked a fight with trikes. He he's not gonna live. Alright, so yeah, you want to make sure that you have bolas on hand if you intend on going and fighting a trike. Okay, yeah, that guy's dead. Alright, so yeah, there's another one way down here. And then eventually, well, in the early game, raptors tend to be one of your worst enemies. Because you haven't moved on, um, gotten your movement speed up just accordingly. But, at 112 movement speed, you can effectively outrun a raptor, which is why I always tell everybody to go up to 112. It's just for that specific reason, is so you can outrun a raptor. Because raptors are mean, and they're vicious, and oh man, they are just horrible. They will pounce on you, they'll eat you, they'll make you have a super bad day, but today we're going after them. <laughs> yeah, all right. There was another one way over here. And these guys will just wander right out of the um, woods down here to come eat everything. Yeah, right there's one. Oh, yeah, and this right here, this is what they'll do. Come on, get off me. Get off me. Dude, get off. All right. So he's going to... No. All right, so he's going to eat me a little bit, and we're going to outrun his butt just a bit. And then while we're running out like this, we're going to K-Mode. It's where we can see just how far back he is and he's not very far back at all all right so we're gonna get out of k mode we're gonna try to run him by something a dodo or anything of the sort or maybe through the trees a little bit yeah that should work through the rocks jump a little bit no 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 stop stop chasing me no all right fine all right down there all right cool Come on back. There we go. Now that we've got him out like that, we can just shoot him in the face. And have our bow break. You see how he's just looking at us? It's like, hey, I want to eat your face. I don't want you to eat my face, dude. And that's how you knock out a raptor. Just like that. And I would recommend, if you're doing this, make sure you have... 112 movement speed. That is the speed to outrun raptors. Yes. <laughs> but now that we've got one knocked out, now we've got to go get some meat. We've got to get this guy tamed up. And then we're going to take this guy out and about and we're going to show you just the cool stuff they can do. Because raptors are actually really cool. I call them stupid raptors just because they like to um, come out of the woodwork. They like to come out of the trees. They like to chase you. They like to eat you. They like to pounce on you. They like to make your brand new survivor have a really bad day. But these guys are actually really cool. They really are. All right, see you guys in a minute. Now, one of the easiest ways of just getting meat, just grab a Fiomia. You already have the bullas. Grab a Fiomia, bull of the Fiomia, run up to it, start whacking on it with your hatchet. That's really all you need. And then just remember, if you want meat when you're whacking your Fiomia, grab a pick. It's really that simple. Yeah, I, I, I did it the wrong way. Yeah, I did it with a, with a hatchet. But yeah, I mean, that's just the easiest way to get some quick meat when you're in the lower levels. Just grab your pick, run up to uh, out of the nearest Fiomia. You, you've already got your bolas on your hotbar from knocking out your raptor. Yeah, it's pretty easy. All right, so now we're just going to throw this meat directly on this guy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, eat up. 
Yeah, and he's gonna tame up really quickly. All right, now while this guy's taming up, there's one thing I forgot to cover on this, and um, I apologize for that, but yeah. It happens. All right, so yeah, um, what these guys' preferred kibble is Parasaur. So where if you've got plenty of Parasaurs, and most um, early survivors, they generally have at least one or two Parasaurs, keep their eggs, crafted into a parasaur kibble. That way there, when you go out, you t find yourself a really high level raptor and you're a nice looking foo over there. All right, um, you can uh, throw it on these guys. You can get yourself a perfect tame really easy. It doesn't take that many um, parasaur kibble. It really doesn't. Um, but also, if you don't have access to parasaur eggs, raw mutton works really well. If you find yourself an Ovis going around uh, of the island or on Ragnarok, anything like that, they're a little bit rare on um, on the island than they are on Ragnarok. On Ragnarok, they're everywhere. Um, you can find them. Uh, you can harvest them up for their mutton, throw it on your raptor as you're taming it, get some really high um, O effectiveness. Also, the cooked lamb chops, if uh, you're worried about your mutton spoiling, you can always cook it. You can use that to tame it. It takes a little bit more um, when it comes down to raptors. Um, that's not always the case, but on these guys, unfortunately, it is the case. Or you can also use raw prime meat, which is actually a little bit better than cooked um, lamb chops. Just, yeah, make sure that if you're going the raw prime meat route, that you try to uh, um, starve them out a little bit before you start going out and getting your prime meat. Because if you just starve them out, and then you get it to so where their food is going down, um, by the time you go out and you go out and you get a... Uh, where'd that food go? Oh, there you are. I might have to get you. What level are you? Sorry, I'm distracted easily by the piece of candy. You're at level 40. Oh yeah, look at you go. Uh-huh. All right, so <laughs> yeah. Now that I was so easily distracted by uh, the uh, Mesopithecus in the distance, yeah, when you, uh, um, the reason why I starve these guys out is because when you uh, start going out and getting prime meat, prime meat has such a small window of time before it spoils in your inventory or in your dinosaur's inventory. So I make sure that I can go out and get a big batch of it at once and just throw it on them and then they'll eat it all up at once. That's why I starve them out. Um, that way there, I'm not having to go out and get tons of prime meat all at once and then go back out, get more prime meat after that prime meat spoils on their inventory. Instead, just throw a big fresh batch of prime meat in, on them and then let them eat it all after they've starved out quite a bit. It works quite well. All right, so now that this guy's tamed up, now we're also going to, uh, um, even before you can get the saddle, the raptor is actually quite effective at just like this. Here, let me show you. All you do is send it out and have it attack things out on the beach, and it can just gather stuff for you really quickly. And it's able to do a lot of damage very quickly. And it's going to be able to make pretty short work of these dillos. I mean, it might take a little bit of a beating, but it's not going to be that bad. I mean, here, let me show you. Yeah, he's just able to take these guys out pretty quickly and pretty effectively. And then as he uh, um, eats each dillo... Here, eat that one. All right, now as he's able to fight each, each of the animals and he's able to harvest their meat, he's going to be able to heal himself up a little bit. Now, it's not as good as, say, like the Argent or anything like that, but it still is pretty good. Um, yeah, it's just pretty much he'll have meat in his inventory. He's able to heal up a little bit, and yeah. And then also, just remember, these guys are able to be tamed inside of taming pens. And I think I might see if I can go find me another one just so where I can get one tamed inside the taming pen. Because the taming pen is actually the preferred method. But when it comes around to it, just taming them out in the wild, taming it with a bola, it's very, very effective. Now let's go over here. I've got a little shack. I've been, um, as I've been doing basics, I've slowly been incorporating this over in, um, so where we've got... A bunch of stuff ready to go for whenever we need to make saddles, stuff like that. All right, so let's uh, go like this. Uh, now, this the Raptor saddle is just craftable right in the inventory. It's really easy. It's really quick. It's really effective. Right there it is. Bam. Yeah, and it only takes uh, 65 uh, fiber, 110 hide, and 20 wood. It's really, really easy to go to make. All right, and now one of the things I want to discuss is you see how this guy's damaged from taking on those dillos? Now, he's, he's going to be gradually healing up, and he's going to be healing up pretty dang fast, but we can always speed that up by just having some meat in his inventory and just force-feeding it to him by selecting it and then pressing enter. Each one of these meat is going to give him five health, which goes pretty dang quick when you have as little uh, 
hit points as when it comes to raptors. But high level raptors, you can actually get some of these guys really well leveled up, up to like three, 4,000 hit points. It's really impressive what you can get on these guys. But for now, we're just gonna take this guy and we're gonna stick the saddle on him that we made. What did I do with the saddle? There we are. We're gonna take the saddle on him that, and put it on him that we made, and we're gonna discuss one of the other problems with raptors. Notice how low of weight this guy has? It's really horrible. And just by carrying around the gear that we used while we're taming this guy, he only has, I mean, he's already encumbered. So we're gonna take and we're gonna drop this off. And we're gonna drop off some of these bolas. And we're just gonna be running around just like this. There he goes, he's no longer encumbered. But he's gonna be able to go really, really fast. Now, he's got a couple of attacks, all right? Now, his left click attack, it's just a regular claw and slash kind of thing. That's really all it's gonna do, and a bite. And he's gonna do a little bit of damage. I believe his damage was basically 22, but also he has another attack, which is kind of cool. Now here, let me show you. You can take and you can jump. Not on that guy. That guy's not gonna work. We can jump on this guy right here. And he's gonna be able to hold him down. And while he's held down, we're gonna be able to left click and we're gonna be able to bite because he's not gonna be able to move anywhere. Yeah, it's gonna be holding him still. And then while he's held still, we're gonna be able to clamp down. And the dust cloud, oh, fine, fine, fine. Just bite your butt this way. You know what, maybe I'll keep you alive. Use you as the next one. Oh, 120 most shops, that's actually pretty decent. All right, and then we're gonna clamp on this Dodo. Suck it, Dodo. All right, and also you'll notice these guys, whenever they harvest stuff up, they get more meat than they do hide which is kind of cool, which means that when you're going out and you're um, early on in the game, if you can get a raptor at early level, you, you have no worries for me ever again. But then again, you really don't have much worries for uh, hide ever again either because you're gonna be able to go out and just by sheer volume, um, get a whole bunch of hide. All right, but now that we've got this guy, I'm gonna show you the true benefits of these guys. These guys have got a couple really cool things that you can do with them. One of them is a pack animal. All right, so now I've went out, I've gotten three more of these guys, and I ended up finding a pretty decent 110. It looks really, really cool. All right, so now we're gonna take, and we're gonna make sure we're riding the highest level one. That way there, we can go out, and we can either go like this, whistle them to go attack, and they just shred everything really quickly, or, we can go like this, and then now that we're writing them, they now have, now that we're writing the alpha, we now have a new attack. Um, because now you see up at the very top where it says pack leader, that means that we're gonna be doing increased damage already, but if we take and we use the C attack, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna be hitting like a truck for the next 45 seconds. Yeah, that call right there takes these guys to a whole new level. While that attack is going, and the name of that attack is Pack um, Mate, um, which means that all of these guys are gonna be doing increased damage, taking less damage, and then just shredding everything you point them at. It is really, really impressive just how well they do it. And then they're gonna be able to eat that guy super fast. Super fast. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, now we're gonna talk about another tactic or another use for these guys that is really cool as well. And you guys aren't coming with me. I will see you guys over across the island. All right, so here we are. We're over across the island. Let me show you where I'm at on the map. Now this right here, this is what we call a cave. And when it comes to raptors, raptors happen to be one of the best dinosaurs to take into caves. Because when you go into caves, when you're um, playing in the very beginning of the game, there's certain caves that you go into where the raptors will fit through just perfectly. Now, when you go in on foot, all it is is you versus all of the animals inside of the caves. But when you go on the back of a raptor, or you go on the back of something a little bit bigger maybe, or something a little bit tankier, or something just that has another set of health, that's pretty much what you're doing. You're taking their health into the cave, not yours. It's pretty effective. 
that's the way I look at it. So whenever I go into these caves, especially when I'm playing by myself, when I'm playing solo in some of my solo playthroughs, I go through and I find out exactly which are some of the best di dinos to take into the caves, just so where they can tank everything. And Raptor is pretty close to the top of the list. He's not the top of the list, but they can fit into just about every cave that there is, except for a couple of them. But yeah. All right. So, hey, good luck caving. Good luck with the raptors. Good luck taming them and good luck enjoying them because they are really good tames. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you like the video, make sure you click that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Enjoying a cave run and take it easy, everybody. Come on, little buddy. Let's get in here. We got a Lystrosaurus just hanging out right there. Hey, buddy, you wandered in some someplace pretty dangerously. All right, take it easy, everybody.